And Daniel, it seems uh, Nene has just been sort of hung out to dry, supposedly being deployed to another strategic position, whatever that might be. What do you know and what can you tell us about the new guy, David van Rooyen, especially uh, with regard to his work experience or lack thereof in um, central government positions? Well, I think there's very little to say about the new minister in relation to his experience in finance. It seems to be very limited. He's had some local government experience, and I'm afraid to say when going back and looking at the track record, that experience hasn't been particularly uh, illuminating. Mm. Um, so I think there would be great concern that the replacement for Minister Nanny has very little gravitas when it comes to the portfolio and the complexities of this particular portfolio. Mm. And that's part of the concern. It's one thing to have replaced a minister who was regarded, in fact, as a knowledgeable and trustworthy individual, mm -hmm. but to replace him with someone with what seems to be on paper at the very least less experience in the portfolio is particularly concerning. I'm perhaps more concerned about why this was done. If this has really been done as a result of uh, those in power wishing to retain their positions of power and patronage and privilege mm -hmm. at the expense of the South African economy, then that's my real concern rather than the individual who replaces a Minister Nanny. So policy going forward and how the new Minister of Finance mm. either changes policy or hopefully shows a degree of continuity with the fiscal prudence of the previous Minister, mm. that's going to be the interest for me. Well, I think the warning certainly from Minister Nanny to Zuma was precisely not to do that. Mm. And that's the question we're going to be watching, to see just how much free reign government now has we're moving into an awkward time in South African politics when the ANC has become more vulnerable, when it is necessary to keep support by buying off bureaucrats uh, and uh, public servants with higher than average wage increases. Our wage bill has gone through the roof in terms of what we are spending on public servants and Minister Nanny had to preside over that and making allocations for that in the mini budget now in October. And this issue of just how much money the state is spending on keeping its own supporters and bureaucrats happy is going to be one of the issues that need to be flagged into the future. If we are simply going to uh, find cash uh, to pay off uh, bureaucrats at the expense of, for example, education in South Africa, then I think we are in for a declining and deteriorating position.